Welcome back, Acolytes, to part two of Dead Space 2. Marker 2, where is it? Anyways, <laughs> we are continuing where we left off. And making our way through the psych ward on Titan Station. <clears throat> and, um, what were we doing else? Oh yes, we met Strauss. he just gone through the door. And it looks like we are making our way through the triage room. The triage room. Another text log. Maintenance report 384003. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Stasis bed 00056784. Replace tachyon unit. Degaussed emitter array. Calibrated at Heisenberg forks. Induction coil still not firing in sequence. Testing for shattered matrix. Called in to dispatch to cancel next appointment. This may take all day. The Heisenberg machine. Yes, back to hacking. Because I, an engineer, am perfectly capable. I feel like Isaac is just breaking the machine. I don't even think this is a hacking. He just knows how to break it the right way. Oh yes, I forgot. He's an instant kill. <laughs> you have to stun him, or he will kill you. I don't think he actually takes any damage until you do actually hit him. Arise, body. Arise! Anyways. Let's try this again, Isaac. This time, we're going to stun him. Yeah, see, now he's taking damage. I don't think he was even taking damage before. I just shattered his corpse into a million pieces. Just faded in and out of the, uh, existence. He's gone. You're so powerful, Isaac. Oh, one of these. See ya. <laughs> That looked like acid. Oh, good. Acid boy. There's more. You have no arms. Lieutenant Spitter. You have no arms. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the morgue. The perfect place to be during a necromorph outbreak. Where else could one shelter in place at? Of course, of course. Oh. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. Uh, he's still gone. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear that. If you can, well, you've heard the shape uh, the shapeshifter for the first instance. And you will be hearing more of him. In the future. Oh wow, I just regenerated. Oh yes, I forgot. This actually just regenerates passively. What the fuck? Oh. 
Damn, Isaac, just do what she wants. I don't want to die. Well, that's unfortunate. Another power node. They're giving me so many of these. Hex log. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to drink a little bit. Secrecy. Ah, yes, I think we're going to talk about what I was just talking about earlier. Uh, Chairman Donovan, this is Dr. Brooks. I've said it, I've said this many times, and I'll say it again. I don't like the secrecy behind the new labs they've installed in the psych ward. Or wing. Um, it's been three years, and we don't have the faintest clue what's going on. Such secrecy has no place in an open and free society. Their networks are so isolated that we can't even tell they have one let alone sift through it to see if anything unethical is taking place right under our noses. If we don't get some traction on this soon, I'm going to go to Tideman and insist on formal review of these policy. Brooks out. And Brooks was never heard from again. Shouldn't have been doing any digging, Mr. Brooks. Or Dr. Brooks, I should say. He more than likely got the gun to the, to the head. Uh, patient room's east wing. Save yourself. <laughs> Rip. Oxygen use. Uh oh. Ah, uh, yes, it's on fire. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Isaac, shoot the damn thing. It's red. Shoot it. <laughs> breach rectified. Yes, it was rectified. I have rectified the issue, computer. You're not dead. As if you're going to fool me. I've seen your kind before. Money? Oh, a store! How wonderful. Oh, really? How nice. Oh, yes, I have a bunch of DLC uh, installed. We're going to be skipping over all of the DLC items. Um, besides the refurbished plasma cutter, which um, is the plasma cutter from the original game, actually. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that, though. I like the new one. I do like the new one. Problem is with these uh, DLC weapons is that they kind of give it an unf almost an unfair advantage at times. Now, they do have... Um, like, for instance, this one. Uh, plus 10 damage, plus 5 speed. Um, yeah, like, too many benefits going on with this. Now, this one has a... A, um... What do you say? How would I say this? Um, a malfunction? Uh, secondary fire damage, plus 5%, but minus reload, uh, 10%. Still. They're unfair. And again, suits. Yeah, many suits that I just do not uh, wish to use. They look cool, but um, they do provide a somewhat of an advantage. Now, I may change my stance on that later, but for the time being, we're going to use this. I'd be fine with the suits if they just, you know, provided a cosmetic look. And they do, but the problem is they... There's sound. And music. Incredible. Back in the game, Isaac. Welcome back, sir. This 
This is the first suit, right? Oh uh, yes, it didn't have the uh didn't have any other stuff, so that was it. Um There was sound in that and music. Alrighty, let's save. Because why not? Press tab to view Rick. Now we're in space. Or a vacuum. I kind of like that effect. That's pretty neat. Any other loot out here I should know about? I don't think so. Emergency arrival area. Hmm. Suspiciously large area. I don't like it. Ah, oh, ooh. Wow. Alright then. I just hate it when you're right. Can I slow him? I can't. Not for long, though. You just love it when the uh, game is actually responsive and you can hit your shots. Oh. Wow, nice trick actually. <laughs> now it's dead. Okay. The tram station is just beyond the apartment block. I know. How long have I been here? Three years. Tideman found you floating in space near Aegis 7 and brought you here for study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tyvon tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. No, she didn't say she could fix it. She said she could treat it. Isaac, there's a difference. Also, this thing reminds me of the um, Flesh Golem from uh, H.P. Lovecraft lore. Like an Eldritch Horror. All these bodies are all kind of together. Interesting. Uh, you were supposed to break. I guess I could refill this. This does, yeah, recharge passively, actually. Although it might only recharge halfway on this difficulty. So let's recharge just in case. I say how much I love this game. <laughs> this is my this is my most favorite Dead Space, honestly. There's so many good things about it. The lighting, the scenery, the weapons, the, the controls. Isaac's in it. He talks. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with the silent protagonist. Uh, there are games that have done the silent protagonist, and it has worked. Every RPG known to man. <laughs> Every RPG known to the human race. I like the lighting effect coming from the uh, helmet, actually. It adds another creepy factor to the game. I think you can actually do that in Dead Space 3 as well. Um, there's some areas where your helmet's going through the um, shadows. I think they improved that from this, actually. Um, excuse me? 
What? Who, who are you? Where did you even come from? <laughs> um, what was I? S Could you stop? <laughs> Thank you. Um, right, shadows. Um, the helmet visor would actually just show up on the wall in Dead Space 3. And um, when you go through some of the... Like, unfortunately, they made the creepiest parts of the game optional. Um, but when you're on the ships, your helmet would just... You know, I, I turn off my flashlight and I just walk. And your helmet's just kind of going off the walls. It looks really cool. I will say the visuals in that are great. Tell everyone. Ah, yes, okay, so items are now actually available. Line gun, javelin. You know, I don't remember what I used in this, to be honest. Don't remember. I think I'm gonna save my money, though, as far as uh, getting another weapon. The line gun is great, but it does it just uses it just takes up another slot. I don't really need to, I don't really want to, to you know take up honestly. And I'll hardly I'll probably hardly even use it. I have the plasma gun, uh, plasma cutter. Why would I use the line gun? Just buy some more ammo and be done with it. But sell this. Okay, great. And I have a bunch of nodes to use, so I'm going to use them. Didn't see a save station, though. Alright, what do we want to upgrade first? Um, well, the first things first is HP. I could go straight into the next level of HP. Why not? Um, and then we'll get some damage. The next time we'll go for capacity for this. Actually, th this looks... Is this the same, um, tree from the, uh, first game for the plasma cutter? This looks pretty identical, actually. What's the special? Sets the target on fire when shot. I see, so they actually have given you a goal, basically. Almost as if they want you to, uh, complete the tree. Or the gun. Or the weapon, I guess I should say. Not really a gun. Plasma cutter isn't really a gun. The plasma rifle is though. Why, why do I keep calling it a plasma rifle? It's not a plasma rifle. What is it called? What is it? What is it called, game? Pulse rifle. I don't know why I keep saying plasma. Everybody's running. I don't blame him. Oh, hello. <laughs> Tried to get me, didn't you? Arise, body. Arise. When I'm not looking, not looking at the bodies. The bodies go crazy, apparently. Um, I can hear that one inside going crazy as we speak. And this is why we keep at least one note on us. For the loot huts. Cause they have text logs, apparently. There's lore in them. <clears throat> and we need them. Quarterly report. Titan Station Quarterly Economic Report. Classified authorized personnel only. Do not forward. <clears throat> Titan Station unemployment grew unexpectedly to 9.5% due to collateral job losses from the ongoing collapse of local plants cracking business. <clears throat> no, excuse me. The aftermath of the Ishimura incident continues to depress all planet cracking activity as more and more support services go out of service, out of business, uh, leaving less and less capacity for planet cracking. 
However, Titan Station continues to post a small profit. Buoyed solely by the cash influx from EarthGov's science, scientific research and operation facilities. Human needs and services organization has been spared the brunt of the planet cracking collapse by the pickup and traffic with our government sector. Planet cracker docks, ship services, mining supplies, and tool vendors continue to post heavy losses. However, the CEC itself has found moderate new life for its facility in the R&D department of the government. Okay. Interest. And I'm full. Well, one of you has to be ditched to make room for money. Because I love money. Ooh, we definitely need that. Uh, well, I'm dropping all these. Goodbye, health. I don't need you. I no longer require you. Why don't I just run back, actually? Easy. <laughs> and now I've made room. Go ahead and sell this. Wow, 10,000. Okay. Alright then. Alright, let's go grab those health. Some health. Grab those. And then we'll proceed. Take that. Now, let's save. Alright, good to go. Let's go, Isaac. Oh. Oh. Going well, I see. Yes, very evacuated. I like it. <laughs> I'm giving us a note already. Pulse rounds. I don't really need those yet. Yeah, someone didn't like the vendors. Time to go up. No, not this again. Room for one. Room for one, sir. And he's gone. <laughs> this, this elevator is only big for one of us. Isaac! Oh, Isaac, over here! Saras? Who are you? It's the drugs, Isaac. They gave us drugs to make us forget. But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac! Isaac, look out! Huh? Oh. Yeah, this won't be easy to kill later on. <clears throat> Guarantee that. Hello? Anyone left? I actually see the camera inside there. I don't like how that you can actually see on the inside um, of the apartment. I'm sure there's a way to disable the inside camera, but I do not like that. At all. Uh, okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Was that your mother? Oh, she's super dead now. Uh... 
picked up ripper blades. I don't need those. Get out of here. Wait a second, that's not a room. Uh, did they die? No, you're just a random body. It sounded almost like it was in here, but when I walked over to here, it sounded like it was above me. That was weird. Hello, mother. Hello. Hello. Well, I've taken care of that issue. At least you flush the toilet. You left your sink on, though. Wait a minute. Didn't I just see you? They must have died. Uh, nah. Don't need that. I hear somebody moaning. Don't know where it's coming from. The hell does somebody leave their baby in a <laughs> in a clothes washer? What's going on here? Uh oh. Oh, it's dark. Very dark. But I'm Isaac. Fastest gun in the West. Space West. Brother. You'll have to be faster than that. Stuff I don't need. I need money. Uh, the baby went quiet. <clears throat> I don't think it survived. I'm just gonna ignore that. Goodbye. He was on fire. Hello. I love going through these apartments. I'm not opening this door for anyone. I don't care what your security clearance is or what your orders are. I'm armed. I'll fucking kill you if you try to get in here. I mean it. You stay away from the door. Okay. What if I don't? Hmm. It says come play. Okay, well, you can stay in there. Am I all full up? It's us. Imagine screaming for help and the person on the other side of the door just says when you mentioned vents sus <laughs> uh. Oh Titan part one. Oh boy here we go United Spacefaring Guild history series Titan station conquering a moon part one of two 
<clears throat> planet cla oh, all right. Uh, off to a bad start already. Um, planet cracking first became feasible in the decades following the discovery of the unified field theory, which allowed us to control the graviton, uh, gravitron um, in the same manner we were accustomed to controlling the electron. Um, with the advent of large-scale applications of graviton, gravitron control, it became clear in the, to the mining consortiums they had a new tool at hand. Uh, shock point drives were in their infancy, so extrasolar mining was out of the question. Any dangers of planet cracking were still unknown. Saturn's, Saturn's moon, Titan, was selected as the site of the first moon harvest, as it was known back then. Saturn was as far from Earth as the consortiums were willing to work and still have reasonable access to timely supplies and support. I see. Titan was an original mining operation before planet cracking. Blood. Blood. There are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire sprawl infected? How this happened? The marker was destroyed, Dana. I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tyvan built another one. Oh, good. On this station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tyvan wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the casino tower's currency. Dana? Damn it. Yeah, let's build another marker. Why not? There couldn't possibly be any consequences. Speaking of consequences and time, I think we're going to stop here for today. So I will see you guys in the next part, which should be part three of Dead Space 2. And we'll continue from there and keep going. So I will see you guys next time. I appreciate it as always. Thank you again, Acolytes, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe.